this is the right parotid gland you can see the swelling in the right parotid gland normally there lies a hollow in below the lobule of the ear if that hollow is obliterated that means the parotid is involved otherwise there may be some lymph node swelling but here you can see that hollow is obliterated so this swelling is of the parotid gland now you can you have to see the extent the size shape and the consistency of the swelling you have to see the temperature or you have to see for any uh, scar on the skin color now ask the pa patient to clinch his mouth so that his masseter can become taut and you have to check the mobility of the that uh, swelling with uh, here the uh, patient is having the contracted masseter and we are checking for the mobility of the uh, swelling you have to see for the skin color scar any pit on the pressure if the temperature tenderness any presence of any fistula etc fluctuation sign comes very later on now in order to palpate for the deep lobe do by manual examination one finger should lie in front of tonsil that is behind the third molar inside the mouth and another finger behind the ramus of the mandible as you can see and palpate for the deep lobe now in order to palpate for the uh, extensions duct you have to palpate with the fung finger and thumb the terminal part of the duct can be palpated between thumb and index finger again we are palpating deep lobe now to see the extension duct you should see you, sh uh, you should retract the check cheek with the spatula if you put pressure on the parotid gland you will see a blood oozing out from the extensor duct that indicate a malignancy if pus comes that means suppurative pruritus sorry suppurative parotitis is there thanks for watching if you liked it please subscribe to our channel thank you once again